This episode of Chess.com Adventures is titled Avoid Retaking the Knight. And we'll see why, because there's a better move. Right now we're focused on developing our pieces. Trying to set white up with a discovered move on the queen. White's not having that. Okay. On to plan B. Get some pieces developed. Surprise castle there. We're going to be attacking the right side. We want to go after the A2 pawn. But uh, that's not quite happening here. Okay. White stops that. Got a rook in place. Going to try to get the other rook in place on e8. Decide not to trade there. And we're in a little bit of trouble. We're going to offer up a trade. We're going to take with a knight. Taking the bishop, that is. Now our knight's in trouble. Going to back it up. Threatening the queen. Going to push the b-pawn. White pushes his pawn. Okay, we push the B pawn again. Now we're going to take with the knight. We got our knight in good position. This is going to be very critical for later on. White makes the mistake of taking with the knight and thinking we will take with the queen or pawn as an exchange. No, don't want to do that. Why is that? Because we can at least win the queen or we have checkmate. Uh, and that's because we can take with the rook. We're going to take the rook on e6 and capture e1. White's best defense here would be queen to c1. That would starve off a mate, but it's going to lose the queen. Doesn't want to do that. It wants to take with the queen. We simply recapture with the rook, and that's it. Game's over as the knight blocks White's only flight square there.